This is a video response with the contents of my junk drawer. Um, I actually have two dr junk drawers, one on each floor, but I've combined them for right now into one box so I can show you the highlights of each. Um, because I use over-the-counter reading glasses, I have reading glasses all over the place in my house, and this is one pair that's usually in a junk drawer. And since I can see myself better on this little screen, because the distance I'm at from it, um, with reading glasses on, I'll put these on. Then I'll be able to show you better what I have. Here's a lens cleaning kit. Um, this one's a new one. I have another one, but um, I've used a lot of that up. So I've recently bought a new one. This is a an envelope that closes up with Velcro, and I use it to keep paper clips in. Here is a bag of pin backs for my craft stuff. Here we have a box of staples. Right now I don't know where the stapler is, but I, it has to be somewhere in the house because I used it in the last couple days. But these are the staples that are the refills for it. Here's a rubber stamp. Um, I use that, and uh -huh, the, the light just turned itself off. It's on the timer. Um, I, I use that for um, I used that for when I, I took the electronics class. I needed to have a stamp for one of my projects. See, I have a tape measure too. Except mine is the kind that pulls out. Push the button and then it goes. And it's a little bit worn on the, on the metric side because that's, at least on the end, because that's where I grab it to pull it out. One pink, very dusty eraser, which is what happens for to people or with or for people who are artists. Because if you erase charcoal, you wind up with um, a lot of the the charcoal winds up on your erasers. That's the top of a printer cartridge. When the printer runs out of ink, I, I save these and I'll put them back on to take the cartridges to recycle. And then any residue of ink isn't going to get onto anything. Here's a brooch that I bought at a crafts fair. It's wooden and it's inlaid. And I would have never been able to tell you it was in this drawer because that's not where it belongs. This is the bag with a few other kinds of clips in it. Mostly these things. The kind that you can, can clip on and then fold them over. And they lay flat. This is a phone book of my friend's phone numbers. A protractor from my school days. A paper punch. A band-aid. This is one of my favorite letter openers. I like the kind. It, it has a little blade in here, so it's, it's, it's very sharp, but you don't touch the blade. And you slide this thing through a letter. This was a souvenir of a, a bat mitzvah. 
um, for one of my friend's daughters. Here are various pens and pencils. These work. These are sentimental with the story behind them. This one is a regular fountain pen that uses ink. I went through a whole stage when I was in high school of writing with, with, with ink. I thought my homework looked a lot nicer like that than if I, if I wrote it in a ballpoint pen. This is the thing you squeeze to get the ink into it. And this one is a cartridge pen. It also looks like a regular pen when you open it the normal way. But if you open the other side, there's a cartridge You used to be able to buy these. They were they had ink on them and you pushed them on. And when you used up the ink, you pulled one off and pushed the uh, and replaced it. You pushed another one onto it. And um I'm not going to pull it apart and show you cuz I know it still has some ink in it even though it isn't enough to write with. It's enough to do this with. So, I don't want to make too much of a mess in here. I'm in my living room sitting where there's carpeting. And um, being a little careful to keep my, my, my carpeting nice and neat. Now I have ink on both hands slightly. Okay. This was my late husband's ID card from work. He, you know, he wore this on a clip. And um, I decided that... You know, it was something important to save, and it's not a, not such a bad picture considering it's one of these ID type pictures. These were from my work. I used to run a machine that did the um, the coating for the the the. Um, it's actually an aluminum, and it has quartz over it, and. These pieces were rejects, and um, they're very badly scratched, which isn't why they were rejected. Um, they were scratched because they fell behind the, um, the, the counter after having been rejected. And I retrieved them and saved them as a, um, a, as a souvenir of having worked there. I thought they were kind of interesting. This is from the machine I ran the most, and it was actually a test of um, putting quartz over chrome, which was, that's not the material I normally uh, normally coated with. And um, I asked permission to save one of the the little papers with the tests on it. So this one this one's mine. One stray hook from a bag I no longer own. This is a latch hook from do, for doing latch hook rugs. I have several of these. This has pencil lead in it. And here's a staple remover. So that's the contents of my of my junk drawers. Now I have to find the off button. 